If somebody gives you money for free, will you say no? If someone tells you that spend your money and for spending your money, I will give you more money, will you say no? Then why do you say no to credit cards? Hello friends, my name is Karthik. I'm a chartered accountant by profession, YouTuber by passion, and I make new videos every week on various topics under finance, stock market, commerce, etc. So do check out our Comperla YouTube channel if you're coming here for the first time. Credit cards is one of the best inventions in the field of finance. And today, friends, I will be telling you why you should be using two credit cards and not one. Credit cards, we all know, friends, we can buy something now and pay for it later. So buy now and pay later after 40 to 45 days. But the problem in India is two things. People are either scared of getting a credit card because they think that if they start, if they get a credit card, they will spend more than what their limit or capacity is and hence they don't even get a credit card. Second is people who are using a credit card, they are actually overspending it more than their limit or capacity and hence are suffering from it. So today I will be telling you points in which you can know how to use a credit card properly and why you need to use two credit cards. First point, those who say credit cards are bad and risky, I will ask them, knife is there, right? Chaku, will you say that knife is bad? If you use it, if you use the knife for cutting vegetables, fruits and properly use the knife, then it is a good thing. It is not at all bad. Knife as such is not a bad thing, friends. Knife is a very neutral thing. Similarly, credit card is also very neutral if you use it properly. Now, how to use it properly comes the second point. Use your credit card like a debit card. Whenever you use a debit card, every time when you spend, the amount will get debited from your bank account, right? So let's say if you have 50,000 rupees in your bank account, so you will spend maximum how much? 40 to 45,000 rupees only you will spend. So do the same with the credit card also, friends. What you need to do is say, let us suppose, uh, take your monthly salary as 50,000 rupees, okay? Then spend only 40 to 45,000 rupees in your credit card. Now, how to track how much you have spent? Simple, download an any expense manager app from the Play Store. So many apps are available or download the credit card company's app itself or simple, maintain an Excel file with all your expenses. This will help you to know how much you have spent. So it's very simple friends. You know, people have actually complicated this credit card as something very big or very dangerous. You are not managing any, you know, big businesses like Tata, Birla, Ambani's with hundred billion dollars worth of business empire. No, and neither it is so much problematic like alcohol, drugs, smoking or social media addiction. No, it is just one small credit card, dosto. And if you can't even manage a small thing like credit card, how will you manage bigger things in life? So actually it is very, very simple. Think about it. Third point is always make the full payment of credit card bill on the due date and not the minimum amount. Okay, so either make an auto debit facility or write down in a calendar or make Google reminders or calendar reminders in your mobile. Okay, or the best thing is whenever you get the salary, next day make the credit card bill payment. That is how what I also follow and trust me, you will never miss a credit card payment bill date. Okay, so these were the points relating to using your credit cards properly. Now let's look at the benefits of the credit card. First thing, reward points. You get free reward points for spending something, friends. Okay, and that points can be used again for spending something even more. कोई तुमको बोल रहा है यार तुम खर्चा करो मैं तुमको पैसे दूंगा खर्चे करने के लिए और मतलब what do you more want in your life, friends? That's why I call this as a great invention in the field of finance. Because you as a consumer get benefited, the shopkeeper gets benefited, the credit card company also which is issuing the credit card also gets benefited. So it's a win-win situation for everybody in the ecosystem. And this credit card, I would call it parallel to the invention of currency friends. That's why it's a great invention in the field of finance. Also, one hack which I will tell you to get more points is whenever you are going out with a group of friends or in a big group, always pay for the bill for whatever the expense it is using your credit card and collect the money from others through GPay or cash. So this will help you to get more reward points. Second point is free of cost credit card. Now you might say that the annual fees will be there, but no friends, in all the credit cards, almost all the credit cards, you know, 
uh, there will be a limit which you have to spend annually and if you cross that limit if you spend that limit more more than that limit in one year then the annual fees will be will be waived off okay and that limit would be generally 50 to 60 thousand per annum which comes only 5 to 6 thousand rupees per month and hence it is not a very big amount if you spend that you will get the annual fees waived off and hence you get the credit card free of cost third point is lounge access some of the cards also give you lounge access in the airport. So if you are there in the airport, you can just go out, chill out in the lounge, airport lounge with nice AC, sofa, good, amazing food. Or what do you life mein. Fourth point is emergency cash. Yes, friends, in case of sudden emergency situations, if you need cash, you can withdraw money from the ATM using your credit cards. But keep in mind that this option you should be using only in case of real and emergency situations and not very, very frequently because you will be charged interest rates around 1 to 2 percentage per month yes the interest rates are high but in case of emergency friends we need money which is more important than the interest rates and hence use this option only in case of emergencies now friends i will be explaining you with the help of a practical example how to use two credit cards and let me now take a practical my own example okay so friends if you see i have two credit cards one is standard chartered credit card and the second one is SBI credit card and the payment or the billing cycle of standard chartered credit card is from 11th of one month to 12th of the next month okay and SBI billing cycle is 19th to 20th of the next month okay so let us take one example suppose in this month standard chartered credit card okay the bill is generated on will be generated on 12th of June okay 2022 and when do I need to make the payment for this bill? I need to make the payment on 1st of July 22. Okay. And for SBI, the bill gets generated on 28th of June. And for this 20th of June, I need to make the payment on 10th of July. Okay. So these are the timelines for two credit cards. Now, let us take if I were I, if I am incurring some expense on 15th of June 2022, okay, 15th of June, which credit card should I use? Just think and let me know. Simple friends, okay, I hope you would have guessed that. On 15th of June, if I am there, I should be using standard chartered credit card. Because if you see, the billing cycle of standard chartered has ended on 12th of June. So the next billing cycle of this 15th June expenses, okay, will come on 12th of July, for which I will have to make the payment on 1st of August. But on 15th of June, if I use SBI credit card, the billing cycle of 15th June will end on 20th of June and I will need to make the payment by 10th of July. Okay, but if I use standard chartered, I need to make the payment of 1st of August. So which is better, 1st August payment or 10th of July payment? I have 20 days time gap. Obviously, it is better to make a delayed payment by 1st of August. Because friends understand that important rule of finance is pay later, receive early. Okay, because that 20 days, whatever it is, you can enjoy that cash and use it for whatever purposes you want. Also friends, if you have a credit card, you can actually use twice the amount of money which you have or more than the amount of money which actually you have. How? Let me explain you again with the help of a practical example. Suppose you have 30,000 rupees in your bank account. Okay. And let us take you get salary of 50,000 rupees per month and on every month end, okay, you get one salary. And suppose now, assuming that you are using only a debit card. Okay. So you have 30,000 rupees in your bank account. So at the maximum, you can spend only 30,000 rupees in that one month only from 1st to 31st. Okay. But suppose if you have a credit card, you can actually spend 80,000 rupees in that month. How? Let me show you. Okay. So now what you need, what you can do is in that month, suppose, you know, one month for 30,000 rupees, you can actually buy shares of some companies. Okay. Because for buying shares, you need to transfer money in your DMAT account. And for transferring money, you need to add money from net banking only. You cannot use your credit card. And hence, you can transfer 30,000 from bank account to your DMAT account and buy shares worth rupees 30,000. And for the normal day-to-day -day regular expenses, you can use credit card for 50,000. 
Okay, so what is the total money which you have used in this month? 30 plus 50 is equal to 80,000. But if you have only debit card, you can use only 30,000 rupees friends. Okay, so but understand that this can be done only for one month because when the end of the month, you will get the salary, the credit card bill also will be there for 50,000 and salary you will pay the credit card bill and next month you will have nil balance but it still gives you that advantage for one month at least friends because suppose assume that in that one month there were shares of some good companies which were down which were available at discount so then it is good you can buy those shares of those companies in that particular month and it is very useful okay and moreover friends in this example okay i have used the full 30,000 bank account and 50,000 salary amount but in practical life, you can like, you know, buy shares worth rupees 20,000. Okay. And 10,000 will be there in a bank account. And for credit card groceries, you can use 40,000. Still 10,000 will be left out. So totally you have spent how much? 20 plus 40, 60. And still you have 20,000 rupees in your bank account. So spent 60 and still 20,000 in a bank account. But if you have debit card at the most you can spend only 30,000 instead of 60,000 with the help of a credit card hence friends credit card is very very actually useful so let me now tell you in conclusion friends that what is the worst case scenario which will happen if you buy a credit card you buy a credit card if you are using it properly then good great use it and let the continue let it continue but if you are not able to use it properly then discontinue the credit card cancel it from next month onwards what is the big big amount of money you are going to lose nothing right so hence it is very simple and i hope this video gives you more clarity on how to use credit cards properly and if you found this video useful do share a word about Combrella friends in your circle so that it will help us to grow better and faster this is cs karthik signing off i will see you all in the next video until then thank you and namaste